Are you a retro game collector that buys games from CEX? If so, then you know the pain that myself and all us other retro game collectors suffer when we buy games from CEX. And it is this. What is it? The dreaded stickers. Yes, them We Love Recycling stickers. Sell us your games, video, DVD stickers. Not just that. When we buy these games, whether it's from CEX or wherever else, we have all these stickers plastered over them and sometimes on the manuals and stuff. And sometimes, even worse, we go and buy some really old cardboard packaged games that have stickers on. Now, these are a right pain to move and get off. But I've found a way that does this without any damage and removes all the residue so there's no stickiness left behind. So, if you want to know how to remove the CEX stickers from retro games, this video's for you. Let's go. Today we're going to remove these horrible CEX stickers that we get. I always clean my games up before I put them into the collection. So we're going to remove these bad boys and the other stickers that come associated with it. And not just that, we're going to remove a Game Boy colour case. These are obviously cardboard cases. Going to remove the sticker from that as well. And finally, I'm going to show you as another example. I bought this game recently. Brilliant game, lovely condition manual. But again, plastered with a sticker over it. So we're going to remove that as well. And I'm going to show you how you guys to do this without getting any residue left behind and no, no damage to the covers or anything, okay? So let's go. How to remove the stickers. And I'm going to show you what I use to do this. All right. A few simple tools. You don't need an awful lot. There is one item that you need to spend a little bit of money on, but it's not a fortune. All right. So here we go. The things you'll need. Very simple. Toilet tissue or paper tissue of some description. Paper towel, kitchen towel, kitchen roll, whatever you want to call it. These are optional. You don't have to have these. Uh, bacterial wipes, antibacterial wipes, just great for cleaning off the product first before you do the, the removal of the uh, the actual sticks. And then there is this. This is the secret product that you are all looking for. Okay, this is done by a company called uh, AF, and it's called Label Clean. There it is, Label Clean. As you can see, it's in a canister. Okay, and you squirt it here, and it comes down to this brush. And it, it goes onto the brush. And I'm going to be show, doing a close up and showing you guys how to remove the stickers using this great product. And finally, a plastic card. For this example, this is just a plain white card, I think from like a hotel security blip sort of thing for a door access. Credit card, old credit card, I don't know, any sort of store card or anything will work for this as well. So let's do a close up and get removing them labels. Okay, got this game. Got this game here, Smackdown versus Raw 2008. Now, I'm just going to start by removing the stickers generally. Now, as you can see, some of the times they just peel straight off, like that one. These ones, generally with the price on and the description, I find are pretty good. They, they're not as sticky as them ones generally, so they don't really leave much residue. That said, this one's looking a bit of a bugger. Oh no, straight cleaned off that one. No problems with that. But these, always trickier, all right? And uh, people always struggle with these and they always leave like a sticky residue behind and they break and split like that one is, see? So what I generally do, I try and get as much of it off as I can. But as you can see, it sort of leaves the underlayer there. Look, you can see it's happening on this one. But you're not to worry because with the stuff we're going to use today, this will sort this absolutely no problems whatsoever. As you can see there, look, it's... It's a bummer, isn't it? Now, anyone know anything much about this game? I pick, as you know, I pick up these games, especially when they're cheap. I mean, this was a charity shop with quid. I mean, it's just not an A-class title. I'm sure it's it's a wrestling title. Now, I've got quite a bit off that. Uh, let's just try for a little bit more around there. Right, I could keep going, but it's going to be a ball lake. So, what I'm going to do now is this stuff here. All right, which I showed you at the beginning. Uh, available on Amazon and places like that, and you give it a gentle squeeze. You can hear that and it drips down onto the brush. Now I'll just use the brush onto that. I'm gonna add a little, little tiny bit. You don't have to overdo it, the brush holds it all. And now I'm just gonna leave that there, all right? Leave that running on there for a bit. And while that's setting, what I generally do now 
if I've got a few of these, a stack of them, I'll put that one to a side, then I'll get the next one ready. So I'm going to do another one of these as well, uh, which is All Stars. Again, let's see how this one goes. So I'm just going to pop that to the side there. So I've got this one now. Again, this is a charity shop sticker, a quid. You guys know anything about these games? Are they any good? Are they worth me playing or not? Or do I just throw them on the shelf as shelf fillers? Uh, again, these are coming off really easy. Oh, it's living a bit of residue behind now, this one. But that's not to worry about. I think I might be able to get that off with my nail without even having to worry. Yep, that one's come straight off. Again, this is the bugbear, though. It's these stickers here that are usually the pain. Sometimes, if you strike lucky, and I might on this one, they come straight off. So there we go. Brilliant. Bit of residue on there, but hey. Nothing too bad. So we've left this one now. They recommend roughly a minute. I'm just gonna get a couple of bits of toilet tissue. Um, and what you do now with your uh, like your card, your credit card or whatever, you literally just scrape, all right? And as you can see there, look at that. It's lifted straight off in one, literally. That's, that's quality, that. Nice, easy one. And then with your tissue, you just rub off the excess there this stuff also i find is a great cleaner as well it really does clean the uh, the package so there you go cex sticker removal the easiest way i've found so let's go on to something a bit more uh difficult shall we say now this is a mad dog mccree gunslinger pack and as you can see here this is the manual and someone's put a sticker on that i'm hoping fingers crossed this peels straight off but if not i will have to use the cleaner and it's it's tight on there. I can feel it's tight. Let's see. Right, you can see straight away as I'm lifting it, it's leaving um, stuff on there already. All right, so what I'm going to do, a little spray. I'm just going to give that a go over on that one. Maybe a bit too much there. But I'm just going to dab some of that off. All right. Let that do its stuff there. Let it do its work. I'm just going to leave that like I did the other one just for a minute or two. Just there. And then we come to this, the backgammon sticker. Now, I'm figuring this is going to come straight off, which it has. That's the charity shop sticker, same charity shop again. Now, this sticker, though, I've already felt it, and it's a right bugger. Now, because this is all cardboard, I'm just going to take all the, the gubbins out of the box, so to speak. So I've got a nice flat surface to work off, you know, um, to get it nice and flat. Uh, also, if you ever want to sort of uh, get these boxes back to looking smart and getting the creases out and stuff, I did another video, which I'll put the, uh, the, the link to there at the end for you. And that's how I restore my SNES box covers and uh, replace some of, the, some of the ink where it's faded and stuff. Now, this sticker already, I can feel the tension there is not nice and it's already leaving stuff behind. So I'm going to spray and just leave that on there, a bit underneath there, and just leave that for a minute. Now let's go back to Mad Dog, let's see how he's looking. All right, now, give this a little wipe. Back to Mad Dog, let's see if he's gonna start lifting for me. Now obviously, a lot stronger, this sticker, and as you could see straight away, it wasn't lifting like the others were, it was gonna leave some residue behind. So sometimes you have to repeat the process two or three times. I think three is probably the more maximum I've ever done it. Now that is lifting. But I'm just going to add a little bit there. I haven't sprayed this time. I've just brushed because I've got some left on there. So I thought I'd just give that a go. I'm just going to come from this other angle. Because this one's been a bit more stubborn. But I could, I could just attack it, if you like, and just rip it. But then that is potentially going to rip the covers. Just take your time. It's about being patient with these things, you know. Yeah, it's lifting nicely. It's going off nicely now. I'm just going to put a little bit more under there. Give that a second. Now we come back to the backgammon cover. Now this one, obviously I'm gonna take my time on a bit more because it's a, it's an older game and it's on cardboard packaging. So let's see what's happening there. Ah, now I don't know if that's showing up, but it's lifting and it's leaving residue of the sticker behind, which is not a problem because this is where we give it another coating and we come back and then it should lift completely. So although it's looking a bit ropey, I'm not unhappy with that. Okay, so another little squirt. And just leave that. Again, we're looking good there. I feel we're doing all right. So you can see the point where I was saying get two or three on a go at times. You just set them to one side and keep attacking them, so to speak. Here we go. It's peeling off now. 
But this stuff, honestly, you can't fault it. Uh, a price on this, I think I paid about six, six to eight pound, I think it is. But that said, you use so little of it, honestly, one can will probably last you pretty much a lifetime. Well, not quite, maybe. Depends how many games you buy, of course. Right, I'm just gonna just tear that down a little bit now. Take it off. As you can see, we have removed the sticker off the manual. There's a little bit of residue there, so I'm just gonna give that a wipe and it's bought it off. All right, I'm sorry if there's a bit of camera wobble there. I'm using a, a tripod on the desk. So one sticker removal from Mad Dog, and then I'll probably give that a little clean up right at the end with my uh my wipes. So here we go, back to the back going. There we go, give it a nice scrape quite tight down there it is that sticker but as you can see here the residue look there you go it's all creasing up it's going nicely now bit of stronger bit of sticker there at all look. but you can see generally how it works and as i say it's just all about the patience really you're just breaking it down and when it's done it's done okay so in a nutshell that is how you do it um if anyone else has got any other advice, tips, etc., please do share them in the comments for everyone to see. Because, you know, I've found that this works for me. Some people might have a, a home variant that they use, their own sort of uh, uh, mix they, they use and stuff, you know. I have also read, I've read somewhere, I'm sure, that apparently WD-40 does a similar job, right? Now, before we all get into that, I'm not going to say WD-40 works because, you know what, I've never used it. So I don't want you guys taking WD-40 to your covers, screwing them all up and saying, well, you said, no, I didn't. I read somewhere. Whether it's true or not, I don't know. Have you ever used WD-40 on something like this? If so, put it in the comments, share it, let us know. And did it work? More importantly, did it work for you guys? All right. So just going to get rid of this sticker residue on here now. There we go. Getting a nice scrape on there. That's good. It's coming off now. And it sort of congeals in a way. It, uh it sort of bubbles itself up, you know? Let's get that little lump off there. Good oh, look at that, superb. So let's give that a nice scrape. There we go, sorted. Clean that one up. And there we go. We now have us the Game Boy sticker removed from that one there. So brilliant stuff. Now, as I say, this works really well, particularly well with um, uh, your CEX stickers in particular, them, them nasty buggers. And as you can see there, it's completely gone. So anyway, folks, if you found this video helpful, shout it out in the comments, let me know. I've been OG Duffy. Catch you all next time.